Hey guys, it's Craig here, Pagan Outdoors. Now we're doing this bit of a, a weird order this evening. Uh, this is my uh, birthday weekend camp. So it's 11th today, Friday, and then we're staying here till um, 13th, which is the Sunday. And then my birthday's on the full length. So we've got uh, me son Bernard with us and me best mate Laurie which is new camping man uh, if you go see you check his channel out he's got some really good stuff on there now this camp we didn't get here till seven o'clock so by the time we sort of set all our hammock rigs up and uh, got firewood got the fire going um, sorted out something to eat and stuff it was it was getting late so we just sat around the fire for a bit of warmth um, I had a couple of rider cider uh, I had a hazy Jane I think it was um, just chilling into a bit of uh, sort of ward runner music, bit of Viking stuff and whatnot. Sort of perfect when you're just watching the old bush TV in the middle of a woodland. The moon's out, so you've got quite a um, atmospheric um, feel to the woods when you've got a bit of the old sort of Viking music going on as well. Not too bad, just on off a phone, so um but yeah, no, it was a cracking evening, busy, trying to get everything done. But um no, it was a good evening. And then say so just chill around the fire, we were drinking, just relax looking at the fire. Once the uh fire prep for tonight was done, we got some wood stashed for the morning to start it up again. Um, it's not too bad, there's no wind at the moment as such, it's about, I think it's about zero, sort of minus one touching probably at the moment, I mean it's like one o'clock in the morning now, so, but, um, it's going to be a cracking weekend, I mean it's just going to be sort of really chilled, but we've got some good food later on today for breakfast and then sort of dinner time and uh, just a case of going out and finding more firewood and getting it all sort of stowed under the tarp before because apparently we've got winds and heavy rain um, later on today and all of Sunday so we need to get a move on with that in the morning before everything gets completely sudden. But um, yeah, this is going to be a, a cracking camp, hopefully. In fact, I know it will because I'm the best mate and my son. So we've already had a couple of good laughs and say some chilled music this evening, and we've got uh, some uh, cool drinks and that for tomorrow evening. Um, we've got all sorts of food as well, so um, should be a cracking one later on the day, and then sort of a chilled Sunday lay in and a slow pack away, given the weather conditions, especially. But yeah, no, it's gonna be a cracking weekend. So I'm in the uh, British Army modular, uh, the free season bag, so which is uh. It's a cracking bag to be fair. I mean, I'm just in some joggers and a uh, sort of synthetic thermal um, under t shirt thing and a, just a polo shirt on. So, uh, nothing particularly flashing out. I've got me uh, merino wool hat on, me old Ray Mears Bono, 
It's about the only hat I can wear that doesn't give me you know, you get a itchy head after about 10 minutes. But yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a good night's kip, hopefully. So, but um, in the morning, we'll see which way the wind's going to come into camp, and I may have to re jig my top a little bit just to sort it out. So, but yeah, we'll see. I've uh, got uh, plenty of spare, got some wool blankets and bits and bobs. Uh, I've got my softy, softy jacket and trousers, just in case I need them. I've got gloves, snoods, uh, open face balaclava thing that I've used in really cold weather. So, just kipping in, so it's plenty of stuff. But I've even got, I've moved myself up a hot chocolate in my ammo mug so I'll be taking slurps of that during the night for a hot drink and I've got a a, a water bottle in here as well and I've got a lighter for the mess stove in the morning plus some, a small bit of fuel between the hammock and the under blanket so just to Keep it warm enough so it will light easy enough in the morning to brew for the first thing. But no, it's going to be a brilliant camp up here. Yeah, um, it's just always a bit of a rush on the, on the Friday night, but traffic wasn't too bad. So, um, so I don't think we've actually said we are over at um, Beehive. Um, uh, Ashby Delizus, I think it is how you pronounce it. Um, they're on Facebook. Uh, Cracking Blake Paul. Uh, well, there's two poles actually. But, um, no, nah, it's really cold there. So, I've got here for a couple of nights. Got some compost loos to have access to. So, a slight smidgen of luxury but um yeah no, it's uh there's a few people on tonight i think different parts of the wood there's like a section of semi-permanent showers and such that regulars use so we're in the sort of the, the natural woodland side we've got a little brick uh, fire surround type thing that everyone sort of uses who sort of camps over this side of the woods so we'll use that too um, so yeah so I shall speak to you guys in the morning if I remember and um, I'll chat to you lot then so night everyone and I'll speak to you in the morning Morning everyone, this is the first morning of my birthday bushcraft camp. So it is a very windy morning, a bit of a chill to the wind. Um, on and off a bit of rain, but yeah, that's alright. So at the moment it's me, then we have Laurie, new camping man, and then somewhere in there is the famous Bernard who has yet to surface. He is alive but he's just not getting up. So start the day. Good mug of let's see if we can get this going. Good mug of tea. Got to start the day with a mug of tea. Or hot chocolate and three in one coffees which apparently is called a mocha but it shows I don't really drink coffee too much. And Laurie has also bought cookies. So that is going to be first first breakfast. And then we've got pancakes, bacon, maple syrup, and blueberries when we get the fire going, which should be fun in this wind. And then um, we are going to basically chill and just get loads of firewood. I think it's the order of the day. So I know it's going to rain later and absolutely lag it down tomorrow. So 
I've got my set up, my usual lazy slug set up going there. So, a bit of an untidy area, but I've got all my uh, bivvy table with me. Uh, little homemade stove on me uh, Crusader cook set. So, working fine. I've given Laurie uh, one of my homemade stoves, so he's got that on his uh, on his kettle. Let's see if we can get that. Yep, yeah, that's down there. So he's having a go. All right. So yeah, uh, sorry about the uh, the filming. That is, I would say first thing in the morning, but it's not. It's about tennis or something. So we didn't get up to about half nine. So. But we're allowed to because it's our camp so we can get up when we want basically so but yeah i shall bring you back when i far remember when we're doing breakfast because i've got my petromax skillet laurie's bought a brand new frying pan so between the two we knock up a few pancakes and all the bits and bobs to go on it hopefully if all goes well anyway if not I've got loads of little pots of porridge, if all else fails. And we've got ribs, and we've got a big stir fry for tea. So we've got a shed load of food, plus loads of little um, odds and sods to pick on throughout the day, night, and tomorrow. So cause we're here till at least lunchtime tomorrow. So I think it's gonna be a bit of a pack away in there, chucking it down rain, but it's not an issue. So, but yeah, we're back at Beehive. So, lovely wood. Um, with all the high winds of late, there's loads of fallen dead wood. So, just go around picking that up. So, that's happy days. So, but yeah, uh, it is a good camp. And uh, I get this brew down my neck and then we'll start on the fire. So, I shall catch you guys in a bit. All right, hi guys. All right, we're finally getting enough heat off this fire to be able to cook on. So I'm going to be one side, new camper room and the other. So what we've got, I'm doing pancake duty, and then Laurie is doing bacon duty, and then we've got maple syrup and blueberries to go on top. So hopefully. This will go fairly well. But yeah, the fire's now. The trouble is, we're really, uh, it keep, it's windy, but it keeps really gusting as well. So it's uh, eating through the firewood, like last time we was here, to be fair. So, but yeah, but it's plenty of heat off that now to be cooking with. And then we got, Bernard who's been collecting firewood and cutting it down so he's having a chill for five minutes. Me and Laurie have been under here having a couple of brews while we went for the fire to break down a bit. There's Laurie's set up over there. Plenty of shelter from the wind and the rain that every now and again comes down. But yeah, you got it's quite cool when all these always crack around. But yeah, so we're going to start cooking and seeing how it goes. I'll catch you guys in a bit. There we go. They are cooked. So we have pancake, crispy bacon blueberries and maple syrup so time to tuck in see you later hey guys just a quick one um realities of being a disabled bushcraft so apart from obviously um i mean this is for me anyway um taking all my meds sort of three times a day I have to be obviously careful what I do, how I bend and, and such. 
but then um, sort of during the night had uh, excruciating pain in the shins or sort of back of the calves and stuff which sort of definitely wake you with a jump when it uh, when it happens and then in the mornings it can happen so it makes getting out the hammock or wherever I'm keeping uh, bloody hard but it sort of wears off to a point and then you can get out but also I mean during the day like at the moment um, a couple of times a day I have to sort of lay flat um, on my back and sort of sides to try and uh, sitting all the time while standing um, isn't good for me um, in my instance so I have to every now and again have a, a, lay, a lay down or something to try and just sort me back and legs and stuff so while well, sort of chilling in uh, my hammock I sort of tuck my legs in my sleeping bag but uh, yeah, I mean we just had a rain shower come over so it was nice to listen to the rain on the tarp but yeah it's legs are giving me a bit of jit but I think I'm not used to but it's still giving me nuts but it's, it's sort of take every day as it goes and see what happens really so every day you're up to victory and on these camps you just hope that they're able to to do the camps and sort of drive to the venue and drive back from the venue so it's all these sort of things you got to think about when you do it like we've been because of the wind and that we've been going through the firewood a lot so we've been trying to collect dead fall and stuff so but I have to sort of take it easy Sort of breaking it down or cutting it down because if I do too much I won't be able to move for the rest of the, the day and the night so it's all about pacing getting it um, at the right level and even after 11 years I still get it wrong uh, you just have to try and know your limits and just try not to um, wear yourself out too much so if anyone else is sort of like that um, stick a comment in below or we'll start a discussion on um, that type of thing how everyone copes with different uh, health conditions and stuff and sort of day to day on camps and, and whatnot so I just want to do this quick one a minute. So what I do is I'll speak to you uh, later on after I've run that. That's late guys. Hey guys, last morning of the camp, and as you can see, despite it's supposed to be the warmer of the two mornings, but um, with the rain coming down a lot of the night and continuing to come down, certainly dropped in uh, temperature. So, but plenty of layers on, so I'm toasty. So. How's the camp going? The camp has gone brilliant. It really has been. Uh, last night, going to need too much filming, but a um, bit of music, a lot, uh, a lot of ciders and mulled wine, and uh, just 
a lot of good fun and plenty of laughs and just sort of sitting around the fire so plenty of good grub yesterday so what was it so we porridge first breakfast then pancakes with the bacon blueberries maple syrup for a sort of a almost nearly lunch and then uh, ribs spring rolls and then the uh, we had the stir fry sweet and sour beef stir fry so we fed well yesterday so um, yeah it's going to be a bit of you know, it was a, an epic camp it's going to be a, mis a bit of a miserable pack up but everything can be packed from underneath the tarp so all the, thing, the only thing that's going to get wet is uh, or will be wet is the tarp and my hand wet straps um, and then possibly just I mean we've only got a 35 yard walk to the car so that's not too bad but yeah no the tarps has always have held up because it's been quite gusty during the night as well the wind so but no I mean this this woods beehive bush park, uh the woodland is epic it's definitely a place to come if um, you fancy some uh, somewhere to come plenty of places that hang your hammock and that uh, and you have like a little uh, sort of a fire pit started around um, that you're sort of more than what that you're able to use and sort of firewood and pick up your own firewood or bring it in with you so but yeah mate it's, uh, it's really cool woodland so, so it's been an epic uh, bushcraft camp this one so at the moment I have let's see if we can find me down now there go. Oh, we've got the El Crusader mug for the water we've got some little pots of porridge and then it'll be a, 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 a my version of a a mocha coming up so we've got the old chocolates and a, the old three in one uh, coffees so it gives you a kick start and then sort of packing away bits as the water's brewing and then um, sort of slow pack up so I was it try and do too fast I just end up knackering myself so I have to sort of space it out do it at a slow pace nowadays there's no fast pack ups for me now unfortunately speaking of which yesterday was such a chilled uh, day I mean we got up at nine ish I think uh, food we had a nap in the afternoon and then up till it was up to about I think what time we went to bed but uh, yeah um, up about half nine ish no ten o'clock this morning I think we got up so not uh, So um, in the hammock is always a super comfy slope. I mean, with this, um, with the the army modular free season bag, is absolutely it's a brilliant bag. I was toasty warm in that. I didn't even need to put me me out on me with merino wool out or I just had joggers and a and a base layer on. Um, Tasty one, much fun zip cut time, so that was cool. But, um, but yeah, everything worked as it should. So, so slow pack up, hot drink, porridge, and then we'll be off ski. So, thank you for if you watched this video, please like and subscribe if, um, if you like how I do things and if you like what I'm putting out there um, and hit the bell notification icon and and whatnot so and I'll see you on the next video so love and light and I'll catch you guys later